Hello YouTube, this is Sibmart7. I'm sure that you always wanted to play PSP on your TV screen, but you couldn't because you didn't have the appropriate didn't have the appropriate cables. That's why I'm here right now. I'm going to show you how to play PSP on your PC screen using only the USB cable that you use to connect your PSP to your computer. Uh, for the beginning, I'll show you how it uh, how the program is. It is called Remote Joy. Let me show you. I will open it. Here you can see how it is. You can see how it reacts. It's very fast. And okay. Now I will show you how to download the game. The program, sorry. Now let's continue. Okay, for the first step, open up your web browser and go to the link in the description, which is uh, ifile.it and the following letters. Um, click request download ticket. Wait until it says uh, come on, download. Click download. Um, and save the file. Oh, thank you for downloading from fi iFile IT. Today you will download again and click here. Okay, uh, wait. Okay. Uh, save, download, and save that file. It is downloading. Uh, close your web browser. Okay, go to go where uh, go and find the the downloaded file. Uh, now here it is, Remote Joy. It is called the program. Uh, extract here. Okay, when it extracts. You have that folder. I have it in my desktop. Let me close this. I have it in my desktop right here. Remote Joy. Uh, now connect your PSP normally to your computer. Uh. Okay, so as I said, connect your PSP normally to your computer. USB settings. USB connection and and wait until the window pop-ups uh, this is it choose uh, open file okay let me wait a minute open the file normally uh, and wait okay since you have connected your PSP you have that window open no uh, hold it like that and go to the other folder remote joy and uh, copy uh, sub plugins and drag it into PSP's root uh, yes to everything and you have now that files okay yes <laughs> now uh, close the PSP uh, Disconnected. Okay, hold that file and let me show you what we will do right now. Uh, okay. Okay, now go to your PSP, uh, unplug it from the cable, USB cable, and uh, press the select button. This menu will pop up and select reset device. And while it resets, uh, press the R button, like that. Hold the R button. Okay, so you will go to the recovery mode menu. Okay, ah, this will work only if your PSP is in a custom firmware, I think. Okay, so go to set, uh, no, plugins in the menu, select, and enable all the 
all the other uh, activities. Yes, can I do whatever you want? Okay, enable the three of them, the three modes, the three plugins, and select back. It says right here enabled. That's what it must say. Uh, back and exit. And you will go to the menu right to the PSP interface. Okay, now wait. Now when you go there, connect. Okay, Opa. <laughs> Connect. Connect your PSP again to your computer. Yes. And you will have. Okay, when you will connect your PSP back to your computer, uh, after you have enabled all the plugins, um, a window will pop up right here and will say PSP type B or any type you have. Uh, you, in the window you will be asked to install the, the plugins uh, or PSP's firmware. You will select next and manually, uh, no next, sorry, you will select manual to select the driver and you will follow the folders until you go to select drivers and uh, USB driver here is the the prime the software to play the to enable the program remote joy on your computer so you will be able to enable to to play okay now go to after you have done this, go to GUI and select remote joy light e dot exe. Here we will have what the PSP screen and you will be able to play. Let me show you wait. Okay, after you have done everything as I told you, you will have the PSP screen. If you have done something wrong, this window will be black and will say right here waiting where the battery is it will say we uh, waiting and now let me show you it works with the games right here we have PSP I will go to memory stick right here you can see I have DeepZ or if I don't know what you want I'll press DeepZ which is my favorite game and I'm going to to have a walkthrough for you on DBZ, you can see that it works normally. This is because of uh, my custom firmware. You see, it works normally, and it it's quite good quality. I can see it's the best quality I have ever seen. Uh, this is my tutorial. I think you'll enjoy the program. Thank you very much. Uh, please subscribe, of course. Bye-bye.